My first name is Shanea. My first name is Mick. Kendra. My name is Jeff. I started services at Rella Mental Health uh, about two and a half to three years ago. I was 23 years old. I had never really run into an agency as such as Rella Mental Health. I was 18 years old when I first got diagnosed. I had other experiences with other agencies before coming here, but I didn't feel that I was getting the help that I needed. When I heard about um, Rutland Mental Health, I decided I would give this place a shot. I first went to Rutland Mental Health, I believe it was 2010, to participate in a um, partial hospitalization program. We have case management services. I work primarily with CRT, so we offer case management services. We have uh, vocational services through our VAL program, and then we have a, a housing coordinator who just works with um, clients of the CRT program who can help people find apartments. We have our wellness group program, which provides psychoeducational groups, social groups, um, some skills-based groups. The opportunities that I was able to engage in with Rutland Mental Health was dialectic behavior therapy, which is a year-long program. I was able to meet with a, an individual therapist with that. I also work with case management, the Welcome Home program, and many other opportunities that they have given me other than just those core ones. didn't have any experience with other agencies. I was, um, you know, I had a psychiatrist and a therapist who work separately from each other but not, in, not like an agency that offers a lot of services under one roof. I use counseling here. I also use um, medication management. I have used VAL services in the past. I do do group therapy and I also do case management. In order to be mentally healthy, in order to be comfortable with who you are, you kind of need to learn how to express yourself. And I think art is a really safe way to do that. Our art group is, it's not structured. You know, you just come do what you're feeling. And I think that helps you get in touch with what you're feeling. And so I think these are all kind of mini versions that apply to your bigger life, you know, through logic with chess or through creativity with painting. The diagnosis that I'm aware of that I have are PTSD, OCPD, depression, and anxiety. The services I receive here are, I go to groups um, here, I receive counseling, case management, and um, I receive the medication part as well. Right now we have an acrylic painting group and that is, Georgette runs that uh, and she she teaches a little bit of skill but it's pretty much like bring your own style uh, and she provides images or people can bring their own images and then they paint them on canvas and we have a big art show at the end of every group cycle where the community or um, friends and family can come and look at the art that people did. We did a project where um, we took a big picture of the front of court square and broke it into I think nine sections and um, everybody painted just their part of it and we put it together as like a collaborative art project so it was like nine different styles nine different color schemes nine different views of what the world looks like um, to each individual and put them together and, and made a collaborative art project through that so it changes a little bit each cycle but mostly it's um, what it has been is acrylic painting kind of based on whoever you are. We started just with this garden that we had made at Pine Street where outreach is based out of. And we grew vegetables and herbs and um, we kind of the community that lives down there and some other people who wanted to join would go down and, and grow their own stuff. And at the end of the year, they'd make a meal out of it and share the meal and, and bring it to people, um, some other people who lived around in the community. Then they started doing a community garden um, in the Rutland Community Gardens and they expanded and had this enormous garden plus the one at Pine Street and then this year they additionally got some of the community flower gardens from around town. There's one down by Walmart and they did some flower gardening just to um, kind of participate in the community as well. So that one's kind of grown over the years and taken on more and more gardens. I would say my family was involved 
in the best way that they knew how as part of my support system. I think they reacted in the only way they knew how at the time when I was diagnosed. Yes, fortunately my family has been very supportive to me throughout all of this. Mainly concerns and what they could do to help. I, like I said, I've, they've, always, they've always had my back, so to speak, throughout this whole thing. Sadly, my family is not involved with my mental health, um, but because of Rutland Mental Health, I was able to establish boundaries and feel strength behind my words in accordance to that. They believed it, but they did not use uh, any of their skills to support me. I had some of my family involved with my support system, but not all of them. They didn't seem to react at all. My family didn't, so. Yes, I have used medication management here, and my experience has had its ups and downs, but currently my medication provider here speaks to my primary care physician. Personally, I don't believe in using medication uh, just because of a traumatic experience with higher dose medications for ADHD when I was a child. Um, but because of Rutland Mental Health, I was able to go without medication and feel comfortable doing so. I guess I've been using the uh, medication providers during my whole, ever since I started coming to Rutland Mental Health. And yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with the mix of medications I'm on now. The one that stands out the most to me is just how everything is under one roof. I mean, my case manager, my therapist, my prescriber, I'll, I'll touch base regularly and compare notes. I'm currently using a medication provider here. Um, as far as success, we're still um, working on um, getting some success with medication. The benefits that I find working with Rutland Mental Health are just everything that they offer here. Um, they offer all sorts of groups and different, just all sorts of different types of help, like for medication, counseling, and everything like that. And I find that very, very helpful. Um, the benefits of working with Rutland Mental Health is that they work with you. Um, they work with your schedule, they work with your time, um, they work with the way that you want your treatment to be able to uh, go forward. Um, they never really tell you what you have to do, but they only ever give you suggestions. And it's actually gave me a choice and a voice on what I want for my treatment. So chess group originally started because we had somebody coming to groups who just wanted there to be a chess group. and so. We had said, sure, uh, if you're willing to run it or help run it, um, we can start that. So it started with just chess and it was peer run and we um, had some people doing that. And then we had people asking, like, can we play other games besides chess? So we uh, expanded it and got a whole bunch of board games together. And now we have just what's called tabletop games. So it's we play chess still and we have um, pretty much every other game you can think of and people just come and it's a two hour group so we have lots of time to you know, run out of time in the middle of Monopoly or whatever but we have different people come and just play whatever they're feeling that day and it's super fun. Low pressure, just, just for fun and being around your friends and people. There's a lot of having to think several moves ahead and so I think that all plays into short-term thinking, long-term thinking, your memory, um, building up your prefrontal cortex where your logic is formed. Um, there's just a lot of practice is what makes those mechanisms work better. And so I think it's a good way to just practice thinking in the way that you want to, strategizing ahead. That really plays into to life and goals too, right? Like in order to get where you want to be, you have to think about how you're going to get there. And so I think that applies pretty well to chess is a little way to practice the strategy that you use in life as well. I get to spend a lot of time around other people who are who have similar issues to what I'm what I have, which is very helpful in and of itself. And also I've benefited from free, frequent contact with um, people, you know, with people on my care team and a lot of times they can see what what's coming before I can. My everyday life has changed in the manner that since I've been working here, 
with the people at Rutland Mental Health, I have been able to use the skills I've learned from going to the groups and I've been able to function a little bit better, not completely better, but a little bit better since coming here. So progress has definitely been made. My everyday life has changed as a result of working with Rutland Mental Health. I would like to say that if you or your loved ones are struggling with a mental illness, that there are services out there to help you. I would definitely recommend men, uh, Rutland Mental Health, and I have recommended Rutland Mental Health. I can only really do this uh, by example, but how Rutland Mental Health has actually changed my life is before I was diagnosed, before everything, I couldn't be an adult. I couldn't take care of myself, I couldn't pay my bills, I couldn't even shower most days, I couldn't take care of myself. And because of Rutland Mental Health, I am currently now an assistant store leader at a job. I am completely independent. I've been able to figure out how to take care of myself. I manage my days every single day with no complications other than the ones that I can simply resolve. And because of their help, I've been able to have a, a breath of fresh air.